assalamu alaikum uh, welcome to the dynamic engineer so today we are going to talk about the basic concepts of uh, bar bending schedule for a uh, slab that how when we calculate the bar bending schedule for any slab so here this is the concept number one or this is the simplest concept that is the bent up bar length calculation this is the first step of bar bending calculation that how will we calculate the slab reinforcement so i will calculate the slab reinforcement in any other video here i will be talking about the length calculation of any bent up bar okay this bent up bar method is used in house construction normally in high rise buildings this method is not used but but in all house construction we use this method for calculation of bent up bar okay and bent up bar method is used instead of all those straight bars which are used in normal construction okay so how to calculate the length of this bar if you just look at this bar this is a single bar which is moving somewhat like this it is starting from here moving here in this area this is working as a negative reinforcement in this area it is working as a ne negative reinforcement and in this area this bar is working as a positive reinforcement okay so a single bar is working both as positive reinforcement as well as a negative reinforcement so uh, what is positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement i have uh, made one another video for that uh, topic here we will be talking about how to calculate the length of this bar and if you just understood the concept of how to calculate the length of this bar you can easily convert uh, or you can easily calculate the number of bars in a whole section of any slab okay so here i am using a formula for bent up bar method which is bent at 45 degrees you do need to keep this thing in your mind that i have used here a concept that is bent a bar at 45 degrees so what does this 45 degrees mean this 45 degrees is actually all the bends that we have used in this bar like if here i i look at this just look at this bar this is this angle is 45 degrees also if you just look at this this angle is 45 degrees also this angle and this angle so all these angles are 45 degrees okay so the formula i am going to use is for 45 degrees angle okay so uh, the details of this slab are given this is the slab where the bar used is 10 millimeter the clear core is uh, 25 millimeter when what is clear core the clear core is here this is the clear core the distance between the top and this bar this is clear core or here if you just look here the distance between this bar and the outer uh, outer face of this slab so this is the clear cover the clear cover is 25 millimeter the slab clear length is 4 meter what does clear length mean here so if you just look here this is a beam this this is a beam okay and this is also a beam and this slab is resting over this beam so the distance between this face and this face this is the clear length or the clear span we also call it the clear length are the clear span okay now here are the beam details if you look at this the beam detail is depth is 450 millimeter and the depth is this okay all this and the thickness of this beam is uh, 200 millimeter sorry this is 200 millimeter it's not 300 millimeter okay so now we will be calculating the length of this bar you do need to understand each and every step of this calculation okay because this will help you in bar bending calculation so what will be the length of this bar so i am using length of bar is equal to this is a formula that i am using for 45 degrees i am talking about this again and again for 45 degrees okay so this is the clear span clear span plus
टू एंड टू डेवलपमेंट लेंथ आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग इट ओके लेट मी राइट द फार्मूला फर्स्ट प्लस टू एंड टू दिस बेंट बार जीरो पॉइंट फोर टू and to d i'll be calling it d um, i will explain it let me write the formula first minus 1 d multiply by 4 minus 2 d multiply by 2 now what are all these phenomena or what does all these phenomena mean So now in this formula, I will be talking about the every concept that is present. Like here, the clear span is the distance between this face and this face. Okay, this is very simple. Two and two development length. So now, what is development length? You also know about the concept of development length. And if you don't know, you can see here in this card that what is development length. Okay. Now, development length will be calculated here by a very simple formula that is L D is equal to fifty multiplied by t. Okay. So this can be forty d, this can be thirty five d, this can be sixty d. This depends upon the designer. Okay. Here in this video, we will be talking about it as fifty into d. So fifty multiplied by what is d? D is the diameter of this. Bar that is the ten millimeter bar. Okay, so multiply by ten, which is equal to five hundred millimeter. Okay, this is D development length. Now another thing is D E D E. Now another concept is the concept of 0.42 into de what is de first i will talk about this okay so de is actually distance between the center of this negative bar to the center of this positive bar okay and how will we calculate it this is calculated by if if you just look here this is very simple that d can be calculated by de Can be calculated by total depth of this slab. Okay, and total depth of this slab is this here. It is given one fifty millimeter. Okay, the total depth of the slab is one fifty millimeter. So one fifty minus if I subtract this cover, which is twenty five minus. the bottom cover which is 25 minus half diameter will be uh, subtracted here and half diameter will be subtracted here that is the one diameter so one diameter is equal to 10 mm okay so 150 minus 25 minus 25 minus 10 so let me calculate it here that is 150 Minus twenty-five minus twenty-five minus ten, and this is ninety millimeter. Okay, so DE is ninety millimeter. Okay, so what is DE here? I have just explained it. The distance between the center of negative bars to the distance between the center of positive bars. Okay, we can call it the effective depth. This is. But this is not the actual effective depth. Effective depth is something else, and that is defined as the distance between this outermost fibers to the center of this bar. But here we are calling it the effective depth, that is the distance between the center of negative bending uh, bars to the positive bars. Okay, so DE is ninety millimeter. Now another thing, I I, I don't think so that here here in anything else that we can subtract. That is one d multiplied by four. So what is one d? What is this d? Okay, this d is actually this bent. We can call it one d. That is the bent. Okay. So this d is calculated actually for this thing. So what is this thing? This is 
this 0.42 into de is actually this bar the length of this bar okay this is 0.42 into de it is a very general guess that whenever you are using 45 degrees bent you will be using this bar okay 0.42 into this formula 0.42 into de okay now 1d and why 1d multiply by 4 why is this written in this formula 1d multiply by 4 is actually for this bend whenever you will bend a bar okay just in, whenever you will bend a bar like this its length will be increased okay so you will have to subtract that increase in length from the bar this is very small change but you will have to consider it when you, whenever you are working as a conscious quantity estimator okay so subtract this and, and 1d multiply by 4 why i have written it 4 because this is one bend this is another bend this is the third bend and this is the fourth bend so we have subtracted four bends now why i have subtracted this as i said whenever here we have a bend in the bar there comes the increase in length of this bar so here one another bend is available here that is the 90 degree hook and whenever we are calculating a 90 degrees bent in any bar we will have to subtract 2 into diameter of this bar okay so 1d is single diameter of the bar and 2d is double of the diameter of the bar for 90 degrees hook it will it will increase by more length okay the more length will be increased so we will have to multiply it by 2 now one is here and another one is here okay so 2d multiply by 2 now i will just put the values in this formula it is very simple now so clear span is 4 meter plus 2 multiply by LD. LD is, I have calculated it, 500 millimeter, which is 0 0.5 meter plus 2 multiply by 0 0.42 and 2 DE, I have calculated it, 90 millimeter, which is 0 0.09 meter, okay, minus 1D, that is 1D is 10 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.01 meter multiplied by 4 minus 2 into d that is 10 millimeter 0 0.01 multiplied by 2 okay now i will simplify this this is now very simple and easy concept 4 meter plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 which is equal to 1 okay plus 2 multiply by 0 0.42 multiply by 0 0.09 i will just simply calculate it 2 multiply by 0 0.42 multiply by 0 0.09 which is 0 0.0756 okay 0 0.0756 plus sorry not plus it's a minus minus 0 0.01 multiply by 4 0 0.01 multiply by 4 which is 0 0.04 minus this thing 2 multiply by 0 0.01 multiply by 2 sorry 0 0.04 okay now simplify it it is a very simple calculation that is 4 meter 4 plus 1 plus 0 0.0756 0 0.0756 plus sorry it's minus 0 0.04 minus 0 0.04 so this is 
4.9956 okay 4.9956 meters okay so this is the length of this bent up bar so i hope uh, that this was a very simple concept but this is an important concept now if you just know about this concept it is very easy for you people to just calculate the number of bars like if i have given uh, i'm going to back side of this patch like if i have given up that it is like uh, 10 meter okay 10 meter uh, slab so if this is a 10 meter slab i will just find the number of bars in the slab and then i will multiply it by this length and i will find the total length so this is simple concept a very short concept but an important concept that you do need to learn that how will we calculate the length of this bent up bar okay so i hope you will have learned something please don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you may get all other videos regarding the bar bending schedule and in upcoming wedding video i will be talking about the bar bending schedule of a slab one way slab